Hi, I'm Kyle from Garden Nature and I'm going to show you how to install your Wi-Fi camera in the bird box and how to hang the bird box in place. Once you've successfully paired your camera with the app, we need to tighten the screws on the bracket ready to install it in the box. So you'll find two screws on this camera that need to be done, one on either side of the camera. They don't need much, they just need a bit of a quarter, about a quarter turn just to get a little bit of resistance on the bracket so that it's not moving too loosely inside the box. There we go, that's, that's all it needs. And it's just running parallel with an Astera logo sitting just above where the SD card slot is. Once we're happy that that's tight enough, we can just slide the tray out from the bird box and just pop that over the bracket that's already pre-installed. It just clips into place like so. Once we're happy that's there, it's just a case of just bundling up your cables getting them nice and compact in there and sliding the camera back into the box. From this point, we have a cable clip just on the back side of the box here that we need to undo. And then that just allows us to tuck this cable underneath the eaves of the bird box and get that hidden and out of the way. I'm just gonna pause there while I get that done and we'll come straight back. Okay, now our camera's in position. What we need to do is remove the sensor panel so that we can adjust the position of the camera. Obviously, to make sure we're in the right position, we need to open up the app and see what the camera can see. So I'm just gonna open my Nestera BirdCam app and load that camera so I can see inside the Nest box. And then the idea here is to take the sensor panel off, reach up with the finger and thumb and grab the lens and just adjust that to the position I want within the box. Now our recommended position is so that the lens is looking down the back of the box. It should sit about one or two inches up because by the time the birds have built their nest inside the box, it will be slightly higher than the base. Don't worry if you think that looks slightly out of focus at the moment as well, that is for the same purpose, that by the time a bird has built its nest inside your box, they will be higher than the base there and you'll have really nice sharp images. So again, we're just gonna fast forward while I remove the center panel and then I'll show you how we reach in and adjust that lens position. Once you're happy with the position of the camera, you're now ready to disconnect it from the mains and take everything outside to where you want to hang your bird box. You get the long screw that was included in the hole protector set here that allows you to fix it to the back of the, or go through the back of the bird box and fit it to a wooden fence post. If you're fixing it to a tree, we do recommend using either an aluminium or a nylon screw, which won't rust over time and potentially damage the tree, or use a wire around the tree trunk and hold the bird box into place. If you're using a wire, it is worth remembering that trees grow in girth as well as length, so please check the fixing every year and adjust as necessary. Once the bird box is securely in place, reattach the centre panel. You can then attach one of the two metal entrance holes as well, just to give that bit of extra protection from predators if you wish. Uh, but that's it, well done. All there is to do now is wait for the birds to find your bird box and start building their nest. Don't forget our free Nestera bird cam app has handy motion detection, instant alert, so you'll be notified the moment a bird starts using it. We've made the app really easy to use, but if you'd like to watch an instruction video on how to use it and how to share access to the camera's feed with friends and family, you can click here. But that's all done guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.